How's it going guys? My name is Vader and welcome back to Kerbal Stupid Program. So last time, uh, the challenge was to build a boat. And actually, the boat is, uh, the boat is still here. So the boat was, um, successful. Uh, it, it went in the water, it didn't sink, and, uh, it sailed around. I say around, it sailed forwards. And then, uh, it tried to come back, but then it may have split in half. But, it was a boat for a little bit, so that was successful. So this time... Uh, a new challenge from you guys, build a motorcycle. Um, the problem with the motorcycle is, with the motorbike, is that the bike bit, is the two wheels bit, uh, is getting it to stay upright. But I'm going to give it a go at building one. I j <laughs> let's, let's just go, uh, it's going to be a space plane. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to go upwards, it's definitely going to go forwards. Let's just have a look around here. Also, you may notice there has been an update to Kerbal Space Program. So now, this this menu has changed a bit. So these are now down here, and you can organize things by mass and cost and size. Yeah, and there's also there's a few a few new things like the Mark III cockpit. But I think that is a bit big for what we're trying to achieve here today. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try and build a motorcycle. Yeah, epic building montage. Go! Woo! Okay, so, uh... I think here we have the basic body of of the uh, the motorcycle. What I try to do is use just the smallest um, control unit you could use, which is well, it's the second smallest one, but they're they're both very small. There's this thing, which is apparently lighter, but it is obviously bigger. Um, anyway, so I use that. I'm gonna try and get a kerbal on top of it. But the annoying thing I think is if you put one of these straight on top. Then you can't sit your person straight into. Who the fuck are these people? What happened to Bill and Bob? Bill. Oh no, wait. Bill and Bob are still in the boat. I didn't bring the boat back. That's probably what that is. Yeah. The 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 update added new like hiring things, and you can level people up in story mode. So you, you can go check that out. It's quite cool. I haven't actually tried it yet. I just literally just turned this on and started doing this. Anyway, um. So I need to figure out a way to get the people into that seat because you can't spawn them in that seat, which is annoying. So what I think I'm gonna do is have this connected to another big bit of ship let's just say using one of these yeah no no that seems just, yeah just do that just okay have a decoupler what's the smallest decoupler no that's not a decoupler that's a decoupler that's a big decoupler okay fine we we'll use one of those and one of them connected to that we have a big eye beam snazzy <laughs> and then connected to that we'll just have um, a bit full of people. Uh, yeah, sure, that works. There they get out there. They'll get out up there, walk along the beam, get in that seat. Hopefully that seat's pointing the right way. I can never remember which way they sit in this thing, because part of me is like, this is where their feet go. But then part of me is like, their legs go through here. It's kind of like a swing. <laughs> I don't know. It's like one of those weird kid swings. The one, uh, Yeah, anyway. We'll figure out if that's backwards or forwards. It doesn't really matter because they're not even controlling it. Anyway, so we've got that. So they'll spawn in there, walk along, get in the seat, decouple that, and then this will hopefully drive and stay upright. Hopefully the, um, what's it called? The SAS is powerful enough to keep this thing upright. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out anyway. This is called the motor, motor, let's just call it that, the motor bike. Lovely. Uh, save. No, I didn't save it. Let's just launch it. Who needs to save? Fucking, you only live once. Let's do this thing. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, the big, the big giant hammer thing on the back keeps it pretty stable, so that's cool. Is there someone in there? No, there is not. Fuck. Go in the land of can. Who do we want? Rodas Tanson. Thomfrey. I assume that's Tomfrey. Or Rib Ribgan. Ribgan. Tomfrey. <laughs> Tanson or Rodas. I like Tomfrey. Thompfree. Let's say Thompfree. I want to pronounce it like that. I don't care how it's pronounced. Let's actually save it this time. That would be a good idea. And launch the motor bike. Yes. Okay, Thompfree. What I'm going to need you to do is uh, EVA. 
would be the first thing. Yes. And then we're just going to want to walk up like this. Stay there. Stand up. Ooh, good. Ooh, good. Walk along. Precarious. Slight. Ooh, okay, it's actually moving the thing. That's not what I intended. And get back in. Why do you never get into these seats? How do you get them to sit in these seats? Sit the fuck down. Sit down. Just... Oh, I don't... I just... Uh, sit in the chair. It's a... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, his foot's... His foot is stuck in between the decoupler and the fuel tank. Shit. We go back, walk along the beam. Okay, now grab on the ladder. <gasps> yeah, yeah, get up, walk along the beam. Okay, we're gonna jump and we're gonna grab. Ready? Jump and grab! Jump! Uh, that's not what I wanted you to grab, is it? That's not, <laughs> that's not correct. Okay, he's still on the beam though, so that's fine. Just try and jump and land. Um. Okay, I don't, don't really know why that happened. Are you actually. <laughs> I mean, we could just drive it like this, and he probably would stay in place as well. Oh god. Oh, it's precarious. Just turn around. Why will you never get in these seats? Get in the seat! <sighs> okay, this time I got him on the ladder, so now we climb up the ladder, and we get in the chair! Oh, I think, I think the chair's the wrong way around. I'm going to try spinning the chair around and see if that works. Grab onto that, yep, and then we just climb up into the chair. Nope. Grab. Get in the chair. Get in the chair. Why wouldn't you just get in the chair? There's no option to get in. Oh, how? How? Uh, I don't want to add a cockpit to this thing because they're too big. Too big for a motorbike. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. 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 Oh, fuck. Okay, I get the feeling the problem with the chair was that it was like... Flat. Maybe he just can't get into a horizontal chair. So, whoa, okay. Interesting. Physics. Uh, slightly, slightly off. Gonna have to say, don't fall down. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so. We've got the chair vertically. Hopefully facing forwards and not upside down. Let's see if you can climb into it like this somehow. Okay. And now just get in the chair. Get in the... Oh, board, board. Is he in the chair? He is. Um... Okay, yeah, he's sitting in it. Not how I expected him to be sitting in it. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> he's like the spearhead at the front of the front of the motorbike. If we hit anything, you are going head first. Thumpfrey. Is that your name? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, so now, uh, we, I think we want to decouple this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now, just turn the engines on. Okay, okay, no, bad. Shit. Fuck. I have a feeling I was being stupid all along and you can just you can just board this thing. Yeah, you can just board that whenever you're near it, but normally he said it says F to board when you're on like a hatch or something, but for those it doesn't say that annoyingly. Anyway, that was stupid. Um so yeah, it seems the issue with the motorbike is the staying upright bit. <laughs> um we may have some troubles with that. And I'm gonna try that one again. So I'm, I think I'm gonna be using E and Q to stabilize it. I'm gonna just say if we can make it to the end of the runway, that's that's a V. Oh my God! No, that was it. When it fails, it fails quickly and then very catastrophically, and there's almost nothing I can do about it. Okay, so I was gonna say, if we can make it to the end of the runway, I think that's a success for the motorbike. There's no way in hell I'm making a motorbike which you can steer because it's just. Just, just no, that's not going to happen. But anyway, I'm going to try and get this thing to the end of the runway. Oh, I just need to very carefully balance it with E and Q. Um, and it should be able to stay upright. It handles quite nicely, but once it starts to go, it just goes really quickly. But anyway, let's try this again. I'm just going to go full power as well, because full power is always best power. Oh, God, no, full power, bad power. Okay, so as it turns out, full power was not the best power. So I'm going to go a nice, steady 50% speed. 50% thrust even, and I'm just going to very carefully keep in my eye. Oh my god, why did it do that? I have a feeling it was doing a wheelie slightly, and then when the front wheel went back down, then it screwed it up. So I'm going to I'm gonna get even less power. I'm going to very, very, very carefully make our way down the runway and complete the mission, hopefully. Okay, I've got it set to one-third power. Hopefully... 
That's a stable amount. I'm going to check it from the side here. Just to see. I'm going to let the front wheel go down first. We don't want that to be off the floor. Okay. I have a feeling, yeah, it started wheeling. And then when the front wheel went back down, that's when it caused it to, like, swerve. Yep. Yep, did it again. Oh. God damn. Maybe I need to add some kind of, like... I can't add stabilizers because there would be more than two wheels. And I want it to be a bike. A bicycle. Um, so maybe I need to add some kind of fins. Uh... To help stable it aerodynamically. Or maybe maybe a ton of RCSs. I think I'm going to go with the RCSs, actually. Just very careful, thumb free. Very careful. Get in the seat. All good. Okay, guys. So what I've done here is I've added these Werner engines on the side. Um, so if I turn on RCS. Yep, those are now on. I'm not going to turn... No, I'm not. I'm not I'm, I was hitting Q, not R. I... Fucking stupid. Anyway, so I turn this on, and hopefully, what that'll mean is if we start to tilt to the side slightly, if we start to go to the right, this engine should fire and bring us back to the middle. Hopefully, they're not so powerful that it overcompensates and just kills me going the other way. I have a feeling they might be, because I, I think I remember these things are quite powerful, and this motorbike does not weigh a lot, so it's possible these things could just launch me in the air. But anyway, let's see, let's see how we go. Disconnect, and forwards. Okay. Oh, God! Interesting. Hmm. That's actually <laughs> significantly worse than last time. I'm going to try that again one more time, though. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get moving, like, before we put the RCSs on. Why isn't that coming off now? Oh, is, is that off? I don't know. Let's try this. Um. Forwards. No, no, no. I need to, I need to change the, the disconnection mechanism at the back, because it's, uh... It's it's causing it's causing me to go wrong. I need to be starting dead straight, but it's uh, it's holding me up and it's doing doing bad stuff. Okay, so you can see what I've done here is I've added this little stand to the thing at the back, so that now it won't be like dragging down. So hopefully this like bar won't be hitting the back of this, and this can just the motorbike can just drive forwards unhindered by this thing. So anyway, let's get Thump Free out, walk him along to the front, and drive this motorbike. Thump Free is in place. SAS on. Half power seems good. Okay, disconnect. Still put me at an angle, but we'll be fine. And go. And RCS on. So hopefully, that should do the steering for me. No, no, no it didn't. Okay, so as you can see, I have added some stability enhancing wings to the motorbike. So my thinking here was, the instability seems to be coming about at high speeds. So I put these on, which should mean at high speeds, the aerodynamics over the wing should just hold them in place. And it shouldn't move about, it should make it more stable. I'll see if that works. I've taken off those RCS things, so I've just got the, the standard two engines back on. Um, yeah, yeah, let's see if this works. Detach, and... What the fuck? No, no. Oh, why am I, why is it so tricky? Fuck! Okay, a few more modifications to the motorbike. Uh, as you can now see, oh, I don't actually need these anymore, do I? Yeah, take them off, take, there we go. Okay, so as you can now see, the, the seat is on the very front. Hopefully that works fine, hopefully you can get into it from the ground. What I've planned is, he's just gonna get out of here, drop down, walk to the front and get in that, if that works. Um, I've made this now so it completely detaches and it shouldn't pull the thing down. Also, I've leveled the wheels, because the wheels were at different heights before, so I've tried to get them at the same height if I can. There's some there's some clipping going on here, but it'll, it'll be fine. Also, I've added a huge tail fin. Let's see if it works. Oh, it works! Is he still sitting? Yep, he's still going head first. That's fine. Okay, so now we detach this bit. Oh, it's tail heavy, but it should be fine. And then we just go! I think I've overly complicated... Oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely, definitely overcomplicated that. Okay, so I got rid of the tail fin. Hopefully, she'll be fine. It's basically back to what it was before, but he's now at the very front, and the wheels are level. Hopefully it works. I'm just going to attach, detach, and then go straight away. Go, go, go. Stay upright. No, for fuck's sake! Okay, I'm just going to do a little test to see if a motorbike is possible. I've taken off all the Kerbal-related bits, so now it's completely unmanned motorbike, I was going to say unkerbled, an unmanned motorbike, let's just see if this can make it to the end of the runway. I think, because all the issues just came from having that stupid fucking thing on the back, trying to detach it. This seems to be working perfectly. 
Maybe maybe Kerbals are the problem, <laughs> and unmanned missions are the way to go. Yeah, this is where, this is exactly what I was expecting. Well, I think, well, I think we know a motorbike is possible. Oh, it's basically flying. Why wow, it basically flies? It's like a magic motorbike. Until it hits the water. That's to be expected, though. So, yeah, I think... I just realised... Is that still going? Is the boat still going over there? Let's fly that thing. No, oh, no, shit. Okay, fine. So, I think the problem is Kerbals. Um, so, I've proven that you can make a motorbike. That was a motorbike. It couldn't turn. It could go in a straight line, though. Which is, which is good enough for me. Um, shall I try and get a Kerbal on it? It just, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work, basically. Okay, so I decided that would have been an anticlimactic ending. So what I've done here is I've tried to make a motorbike using a normal cockpit. I tried to make the smallest one I could. Um, so it's basically just the cockpit SAS. Lots, lots of little thrusters because I thought more power is better. And then the, the tail fin because it looks cool and aerodynamics and stuff. Anyway, let's see if this thing works. Go. Again, all I want to do is just make it to the end of the runway. It looks, it feels, well, it, I, I can't really feel anything, but it looks quite stable. I don't know if I should try turning the power up or not. Um, no, it's, it's going pretty well on its own. And it looks cool as well, I think. It looks like the, the kind of motorbikes when people try and set, like, land speed records and weird stuff like that. Oh, anyway. Well, I was fucking around for the whole thing trying to do my stupid external seat. But really, it's not that difficult. As it turns out, motorbikes, pretty simple. Let's see if they are water resistant. No, not water resistant. But it was a motorbike. Thumpfree was the first Kerbal to ever ride a motorbike. And probably the last one. Anyway, I've been Vader. This has been Kerbal's Tuple Program. And I'll see you guys later.